Hello there, welcome to Aberon's Armorial. Today I wanted to discuss a few things about the personal uses of heraldry. That being stationery, seals, and other items that you might find at a herald's or any other armager's desk. The first, of course, which any gentleman obviously needs, or somebody who has arms, just something that is very nice and it's a good touch to have, is stationery. This is my own. Um, stationery normally is printed on a heavier weight paper than simple copy paper. Um, it can be linen or cotton or more like a resume paper, but usually it's a heavier weight, say 30 to 40 pounds. And on top of that, it might not be cardstock in nature, but some of it can be quite heavy. Um, and that just comes from the tradition of hand penmanship or using a typewriter, that sort of thing. Most stationary, like mine here, simply outlines and has your arms, your name, and possibly where it's written from. So on mine I put Aberone because that's my territorial designation. Stationary is probably one of the most simple of things that you will find there. It's one of the easiest to make. You can go to a professional printer for it, or you can go and make it yourself if you have a nice digital rendition of your arms. Layouts are individual. You can have the arms centered in the middle, centered left, centered right. Um, the font can change. The basic idea is to keep it generic, simple, and not too bold. Other items that you might find are book plates. Book plates are one of those items that have a rich heraldic tradition, but they are simply just a small plate that is pasted into the cover of your books. So if you were to loan one out or somebody was to peruse your library or your collection, they know who it belongs to. They're quite simple. Mine are just printed on off medium weight cardstock, and they have a rendition of my arms. Oftentimes people will just refer to these as ex libruses or an ex libris, and that's just because most book plates will say ex libris, from the library of, and then the name. Uh, book plates can be very simple and they can be very complicated. There are so many variations out there that they deserve their own video, and that will be coming in time. Another thing I like to keep up here are my seals. Now there's a few different kinds. If I can reach the other one. First that probably everybody has seen before is a wax seal. Um, they're normally cut into brass or some other semi-precious metal that is easily done for engraving. This one is laser etched in brass, and then it has a wooden handle. I have this one here that's more of an 18th century style where it's just a single cast. Um, they can have something generic like an animal or a badge, or I've seen individual initials. A lot of people go with that, and some can be fancy. This is the one I use for most of my official documents and such, as they have my arms with my heralds of tons for my two different positions. The other common seal that most people have seen is probably the most underused, I think, in modern usage, um, and that is that of a desk seal. You see these more for registrars and court people and such, and they're not that complicated. Most people have probably seen them at one form or another. It is just a metal, and sometimes they're rubberized, but they make an imprint on the paper. For example, this is one I have, and you probably won't be able to see it, uh, but this is one I have of the Klansman badge of MacDonald of MacDonald, and I use this in my capacity as Herald to Clan Donald US. And I usually keep this near my desk as I sometimes use it. Um, these often will also accompany some sort of foil seal stamp. Um, that's just a foil sticker that is placed over the paper before it is stamped down, and that allows the image to bolden and pop you know, without having to use something like a wax seal. Um, some people have custom envelopes. I do not, but if you're having stationery done, it's definitely something looking into or something worth looking into. Other things I keep near my desk, like I said, are my heraldry books, that sort of thing, things I'm going to use. Above my desk, I also keep a chart of different arms and charges and such as well. So I hope you found this video informative. If it gave you any ideas about you know, how to set up your personal office space or some ideas on how to use your arms in a modern and relevant way. Um, like I said, there will be a whole video coming on book plates in the next few weeks, hopefully. And if you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see up-close versions of these, please let me know. Thank you.